Doesn't that just look good? Looks really freaking good. And it doesn't help our walls are frozen. It is just straight popsicle in here. Well, howdy doody guys. How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of... Wow, he's talking a lot. But he's got snow. Oh, we have just came in off the old Hobo Highway train tracks behind me. Oops, stabbing trees. Yes, this is an urban location for some of you guys who do not know. This patch of trees have been very good to us. Many adventures in these weeds. Anyway, we are making our way into this little location. We're gonna set up the old hot tent. We're supposed to get some snow coming in tonight and like an Arctic blast. So like 45 mile an hour winds, negative like 35 supposed to be like to feel like I guess so yeah and even though it is an urban location these woods are just peaceful even though you get city noise when it's snowing so all right let's make our way back in here burn a couple calories and gain a couple salaries eat some celery what what do you say anyway let's go figure it out wing ding chicken wing as always have a good time Alright guys, well, my original plan was to camp in this area here because we have no big trees above our head to fall with expected high winds. Because if you look, a lot of these trees, well, I don't know if you guys can see that with the camera, but a lot of these trees have dead branches up high when you're trying to get pancaked. And this area has a lot of like little shrubs and trees. I don't really want to cut them down. So it's kind of not really an ideal spot. So I think we're gonna have to do a little exploration. Then we go down a little farther and uh, see what we can make happen. Doesn't always go as planned, you just wing it and you're never gonna know until you go. So, any meeny miny mo, let's go. There's our good old little tree from last camp out. Okay, well, I think this spot's going to do. It's got a good solid tree here because we're going to be tied off to the tree for our hammock and for the tent. So we've got to make sure we've got some super strong trees. And uh, I think we'll have to cut down these two. And there's, I mean, they're relatively dead. So cut those out of the way. And this will be a nice, perfect flat spot for us to set up and have a good time. All right, well, let's do that. And we got good coverage over here from uh, the street, but it can be seen uh, somewhat across the creek. But we do get the open view of this field. So once the snow starts coming down really good, we'll get a good fill of, or maybe it's just some good eye candy. Who knows? Whatever. All right, let's chop some trees. Bend some knees, eh? Yeah, I guess we don't have to saw enough of cool beans. Now we've got a big old divot. Firewood. Something to break our ankle on. Nice little hole. Perfect. Nothing like good old ankle roller in the fort. The 
tents were ships, this would be the Titanic. I'll do things a little bit different this time. I got four larger steaks that are already frozen. I'm gonna stake down all four corners. I'm trying to, I haven't quite dialed this setup in yet. Um, that step there already makes it easier. Um, your knots definitely, because this, this freaking thing requires a lot of tie down. So, we shall see. Definitely have to use sticks for the most part. If you get lucky, you can tie them off just as free as you will. Yammer, yammer. Beautiful. What a lovely setup, huh? Now let's make an easy en entrance. <laughs> Just kidding, geez. Calm down. Hopefully the smoke, we usually have trouble with this thing. Um, and I've watched other reviews on it and they've had the same exact problem with it. But, yeah, I think somebody said you gotta have it uh, on the second one up, like so. This flute, but it still doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't work with the crap. But I guess that would allow more Heat to be captured into here and get vent out. So maybe we'll give that a shot again. Got a scooter bag. Out. It 
probably. Whatever. Let it burn. Yeah, I don't think this thing likes a heavy, a heavy load on her. But whatever. At least we're out of the elements. Peachy. Starting to come down a little bit. so it shouldn't be too hard to get her going. Plenty of it around. I did get out here pretty early today. It's about noon. So, I guess the major part of stuff is supposed to happen overnight. Sorry, still starting to sag with that a little bit. This thing's gonna hate a big old dumping. Big old floppy snow pile, steamy snow. Can't forget our secret weapon. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. I will say with this thing though, if you guys have ever purchased one, you gotta watch it. Because the edges are sharp and it does cut the freaking case that it's in. And I almost cut open my sleeping bag, stuffing this thing in there. So I advise flipping it upside down when you stuff it in, because that has the round top part, and those edges don't poke through as much. So, just an FYI if any of you guys purchased this thing. So, gosh, you still want to ruin your gear. You know, things get pricey. And just look at this stuff. It's hard to believe that people don't like going outside in this stuff. It's magical. And for all the new guys, or the new people coming in off the shorts and stuff like that, yes, this is an urban location. I know I said it at the beginning, so you're gonna hear city noise, of course. But, look at this. This is peaceful. We just go out with our little tent, with our little patch of weeds, have a good time in the trees. Something, something magical about it. And thanks for some of you guys who didn't really like some of them shorts, but got a lot of old footage and a lot of cool stuff. And hey, it brings more people to the channel, so bear with me. They will be more coming. But yeehaw. All right, enough yammering. Got to go to work. Get some firewood now. Let's do that.
still need to process all this, break her down. We are getting there. Where are you getting to? I don't know, about fire time. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. We'll just give her the old little bit of what for and just set it right up in there. Yeah. Set it right on the top. You can hit it with a ferro rod. And then uh, throw it up in there once it's time's ready. We got the hammock ready to go. We got the straps ran. Um, we still got quite a bit of wood to process. But I, I just don't want to process. Yeah. So we're going to sit back, relax, have a good old time. A couple of brewskis. About to get wild. Woo! Yeah. It's been a while since I've sat back and actually chatted with you guys and had a brewski. I mean, actually talked to you guys, but we shall see. We shall see what happens. Let the weight of the tool do the work. All you gotta do is hold it like so. Wow. Save you a little energy. Sold your beer. <laughs> These are just jokes. Okay, so. Here's what we got for our current temperature. We're about 18 degrees. It gets up to 20 around, what is that, 8 o'clock, something like that. And then the snow is supposed to come in heavy around midnight. And come morning, we're going to be uh, right about. Wait, okay, where's morning? Yeah, we're going to be here about morning. It's going to be about negative 6 in the morning. So we'll see how this plays out. should be a real humdinger come morning, cold-wise. And if you look at the winds, you know, 23, 22 mile an hour winds. Not going to be the greatest morning, but hopefully we stay nice and warm. Well, we usually have the flute down there, or the damper. We've never done it on the third one up. So we're going to try it on the third one up. Because in reality you would think you'd be able to trap heat here to here to the damper. And that's more of a heat source as well. You know, theoretically it all sounds good. Or looks good on paper. But yeah, I think we're going to try that. We haven't tried that yet with it. I mean, it's been a very fidgety stove. But, uh... See what we can make happen. About about an hour, we're gonna fire this up, and then it's getting really close to dark time. It's just because we're so close to the street and stuff, seeing smoke coming out, you know, kind of got to be a little bit discreet for the street. <laughs> Sweet. <sighs> what a beautiful neighborhood. Well, let's go for a little stroll, shall we? Most of you know there's a creek over here. I hear some rattling. What is that rattling? There's a creek over here. And she is frozen. Believe it or not, this is the path me and Barney came up on that one camp out <laughs> when we camped in the water. We had to put <laughs> little ties across this thing. Oh man, it was ridiculous. See the rapids and stuff down there. And we'll trot down there and take a look. Why not? Something to do. Uh, besides sit and, sit and hang out in the freaking tent. Get a little bit of nature in our life. I'm not going to step on the ice or nothing. Or in my home. We'll see what happens. Oh, 
far we came across all of this? Yeah, we just filled the freaking oh, four wheeler across all this without tipping it. That seems extra wide for some reason right here. It's usually not. Usually not that wide, I don't think. Oh yeah, well then how's it frozen like that, bud? Whatever. The wild stuff. The things we do. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can not go splish flashing. Very narrow walkway. I don't think the ice is all that thick. Really not trying to swim in either. There's our old little rock formation from our fireplace. Your fire pit we had out there. Well, I think it's about that time we earned a little bit of heat in our life. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go? There we go. Thank you, fine fire, fire friends. Don't you backdraft on me. Don't you backdraft on me. Let that thing breathe and get cooking. Oh yeah, look at that snow just melt away. I think it's time we get this freaking hammock dialed in so we have somewhere nice and cozy to sit. It has been a long wild year. But we're alive. Kiddos are happy and healthy. So that's all that matters. But have no fear. We're at the end of the year and we ride beer. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's see how this plays out. We gotta get this thing dialed in real quick. See if I can get my fat fingers in there. Where's it going? Where's it go? Any mini money mo? Where do you go? That's not very high at all. Very borderline on the floor. Peachy! borderline forage. Oh, you know, I think I should have double wrapped the, uh, the other one over there. Maybe. Uh-oh. Oh, I might want to adjust that zipper. Skipper. Hey, I'm stuck. Holy crap, that tree just moved. Man, I gotta go on a diet. <laughs> and I think we got her all dialed in somewhat decently. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Holy moly. Whee. That ain't too shabby. Anywho, you know what I freaking found out? I guess you're not allowed to film in federal like parks anymore. So if you want to go to the Grand Canyon and make a YouTube video, it's illegal now. I guess um, you have to have a commercial license. Like if you're filming for something and you make money on it, 
They want to uh, give you a fine now if you don't have a license or a commercial permit or something. Like uh, it's like 150 bucks to 200 bucks for the permit per day. Um, and yeah, that is just absolutely freaking ridiculous. So if I wanted to go to Yosemite National Park and film uh, the John Muir Trail or something. No, cannot do it. Isn't that just the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? That's crazy that they're trying to fine and tax people for all this online content and stuff. Like tax, 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 more money, you can't do this. Absolutely ridiculous. This blows my mind. Tell me what you guys think about that crap in the comments. You can look it up too. I mean, it's all over the, all over the news. Well, not all over the news. They ain't even talking about it. But outdoor community, it was off uh, effective October 28th of this year, I guess. Some judge overturned the law or something like that. Like, you have to look it up on YouTube yourself. But it is absolutely ridiculous. I can. Anyway. I don't know. That's just silly to me. Before you know it, we can't even be able to walk on the street without you got your permit to be outside. Pasty white delight. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I think we're about to have us a little brewski. A little libation. <clears throat> oh, come on. Ah. Holy shnikes. We're up. Well, guys, cheers, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Hanukkah, all the Kwanzaa, everything, whatever you may celebrate, may peace be with you, Hap happiness, healthiness, and wealthiness, cheers, boy, wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice to be wealthy? tired of ramen anyway after that being said we got a goofy concoction for dinner um, we got like some rice some mashed potatoes and I think one another one of those premium chicken packets uh, we'll have to dig into it and see exactly what I grabbed out of the cupboard we got uh, just pretty much stuff you can get Super cheap or stuff from the pantry. So, yeah, we'll cook that up here in a little bit. Snow is just pelting off this little tent ski. Ugh. Sit back, relax, hang out for a little bit. Get some warmth. I think we earned a little bit of warmth. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Sit back, have a brewski. We'll get din din rolling here in a little bit. Yo. Also want to give a big shout out to Thomas Ellison and Shannon Fredericks. Thank you guys for your contribution. It's greatly appreciated. In the old time of need and this time of year for you guys to be doing. Any time of the year for any of you to uh, enjoy the shenanigans and uh, make a contribution is truly great for you. Truly gratefully preci appreciated. Sorry, I can't speak, I guess. But thank you guys so very much. You guys are rock stars. And it helps out ever so much. So, thank you guys very much. Cheers to you guys as well. Yeehaw, doggies. Well, I guess the only thing that really sucks about camping here, there's not really many hardwoods. Everything's always so soft, so we gotta stock the freaking fire rather quickly. It's gonna be way more than we need to. We probably ain't gonna be able to keep the fire through the night, which is gonna. Well, I say that now, but I'll probably keep up stocking it. Yeah. Everything being so soft. Quit being so soft. All right. Well, here's our already open bag <laughs> of chicken flavored rice and pasta blend and savory chicken flavor sauce 
with premium white fajita flavored chicken sauce crap and mashed potatoes <laughs> that's what we're boiling down to these days guys <laughs> digging up the last remnants of uh, survival numbness nummy nummy goodness that's what life's come to but that's all right it's gonna be edible it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic throw a little bit of butter in there and I'm sure it'll taste pretty rancid now nah, it'll be good I think it'll be all right I'm willing to give it a shot we'll see what the heck happens that and a little bit of butter you can't go wrong of course we're not gonna eat the whole pack of that we're gonna try to break it down to uh, like a decent serving size but yeah that's what we got for dinner Cut wouldn't take a break. Cut wouldn't take a break. What I wouldn't do for a steak. <laughs> no, no. What would you do? Oh, some prime beef. <laughs> Come on now. Get on there. Get these down. Cut wood, take a break. Cut wood, take a break. Gonna find a space down in Ricky Lake. These are jokes. Hey y'all. He's a way to break trees. He's a way to break some branches. Cool beans. Nice and small, easy to get in the tent. Yeah. The bottom of the tent is definitely starting to frost. This thing is gonna be frozen stiff come morning. Negative 10 degrees, and then with the wind chill, feel we're gonna be at like negative 25 degrees. 25, 30 feel like and the winds are gonna be howling gonna be a doozy hopefully we feel a little woozy yeah starting to condensate cool beans totally tubular yep starting to fill the briskies Woo time to party <laughs> all right din din coming up next all right yeah you ever pay attention to half the stuff that you eat what's actually in the ingredients this is in Supposed to be just what is this premium chicken? So you would think it'd be like chicken and like salt, something to preserve it. But it's uh, got some pretty gnarly words in here. <laughs> Hydrated silicone dioxide. Great, can't wait to chew that. Xantham gum. Great, I like gum. Torula yeast. Tapico, tap, tapioca, dextrin, and brake fluid, <laughs> dextron or power steering fluid or whatever. <laughs> yep, yeah, can't wait to eat that. See if he goes hoo hoo hoo, -hoo again. Or I don't kill you. Pretty cool. This whole stretch of creek does have a lot of a lot of owls. I was kayaking at one time and I swear we stirred this one up. I don't know why I'd be so quiet, but we stirred this one up, dude, and it came off the tree and its head was like oh, I swear I thought it was like a pit bull with wings. The thing was massive. Flying sideways down the creek. Pterodactyl owl. Pterodactyl. Ooh, there you go. Just created a new imaginary creature. Here we go. Get water up in there. Oh god dang. Instantly like, hey, what are you doing to me? <laughs> We're gonna use quite a bit of water. 
You don't say, Jimmy. Throw some butter up in there. Why not? Chop. Yeah, why not a little bit more? Whatever. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Get you some of that in your life. Yeah. Look at the water just dancing back there. Getting all spirally. Check her out. Yeah. Until she slowly evaporates. Alright, well. We are going to wing ding. As always. Alright, well we're going to throw our rice in first. That's probably going to take the longest. Let that soak up, saturate, get all flavorful, hopefully. Yeah, whatever. Use it. Use it all. Not sure how this is going to work out, guys, but uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Looks like a bowl of soup. It's all right. The taters and stuff will make it uh, thicken up really easy. Just so you can't control the heat, so adding more water is better because you can always dilute it. I suppose with uh, some mashed potatoes. Let that bad boy get up to heat. And we'll add the other things. Woo -wee, look at her go, boys and girls! Yeehaw! Gonna have us a little bit of num nums before we know it. I feel the rice burning the side of the pan. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? Something off the tarp. I think. Maybe. No, nope, looks green. Add it back in there. All the snow is melting and dripping in here off the tarp. That'll be a little bit more water for her. Cool beans! Uh oh, things are getting real. It's starting to spill. She didn't like it. She started roiling. Royal, broil, bundling. Ooh, look at her go. She ain't liking it. She's about to spit the lid off. The winds are starting to pick up. Let's see what happens. Well, she wants to spit this thing off. It's like, what, what? Chicken, chicken. It'd be funny if it shot it off. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just making a mess. Whatever. Ain't nothing but a thing. Chicken wang. Yeehaw. Alright, no way those noodles are done. Or the rice is done just yet, but... Yeah, let's uh, burn the old lips off. Well, they're actually getting there. Holy moly. Oh, that tastes pretty good. It's about time we add our tuna, huh? Add the old tuna. Whatever this concoction is of uh, stuff. Oh man, get in there. If it doesn't want to come out of the bag, you should probably leave it in the bag. Maybe that's. Buyer be warned. But we need to eat. Ooh, that looked like a big old snowflake that fell through there. I wonder if they're getting bigger out there. Well, it's just kind of flurries. Ooh, that big old snowflake right there. Getting bigger. I definitely got to keep stirring this thing. We got to keep an eye on it for sure. Otherwise, it's just going to stick to the bottom. Bear with me. I know it looks like a hot mess express, but do you expect anything different watching my channel? In a flannel, on top mantle. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Whatever. 
Do your thing, chicken wing. Smells good. You know what they're gonna do next? Cameras are gonna have a snipper. Scratch here to sniff. Let that do its thing for a little bit. And we'll add our taters because the taters are going to thicken it up real nice and uh, making it just like a, I don't know what the heck we'd call it. Whatever, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave your guess in the comments, whatever we should call this combination. And then if it tastes good, that's going to be even better. So, we'll see. It wouldn't be like a soup, it'd be more like a... I don't know, concoction, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Well, definitely starting to get some bigger flakes now. Yeah. Big old flaky flakies. Well, here we go. Time to thicken her up. There we go a little bit at a time. Oh, I know. My bad. My bad. What are we making? <laughs> it looks super good to me. <laughs> I don't know why. It looks so good. Oh yeah, she's sticking it up nicely. That's what I'm talking about. A little more. Let's pick that thing up a little bit. Oh yeah, right there is about the perfect consistency. There we go. Holy moly. What did we do? What did we just do? I mean, come on. Doesn't that just look good? Looks really freaking good. It looks so good. I don't know. I don't know what we did, but I think we just did something. Oh, yeah. We just did something. Making miracles happen out of nothing. Negative bank accounts. No food. Making food, making memories. It's good times. Look at that. Oh man. Oh man. I just want to try it. Oh, that's awesome. Holy crap. That is freaking awesome. Oh man. That thing's done though. We. Holy crap. We just made something super freaking awesome. That's good. That is freaking good. Oh my gosh, that is freaking awesome. Holy crap. Cool beans. Wayne Dane Chicken Wayne. That is. It worked. Doesn't look like much, but man, that thickened up nicely. And woo wee, it, it sure tasted freaking good. I forgot to bring some salt and pepper, but I don't even need it. Holy crap. One thing I did notice though, I put this hammock in backwards. What am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. Let's grab another brush. Oh boy. Whatever. We're not gonna knock the camera over, are we? Maybe. Man. I'll tell you what, I don't like leaning back like that. Ugh. Whatever. Anyway, we're gonna sit in this awkward position and kill this dinner. This thing is freaking awesome. You know, it has like a, the consistency of like oatmeal, I guess. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Call it dinner meal. Dinner. Dinner oatmeal. Ricey chicken oatmeal dinner. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how to name it. Whatever. Anyway, guys. We're going to take this absolutely delicious concoction to Pound Town. And uh, 
try not to blind you with the camera anymore, or the flashlight anymore. Let's see what the heck happens. It's getting windier. This thing's starting to flex more when I sit in it. Got some super sagginess right there. Oh. Yep. I have to go tighten up some stuff, send some stuff down. Whatever. Anyway, take this pound town, we'll see what happens. I'm freaking good, try it. Three bucks, three, four dollars. And if you had maybe doubled up on the chicken packet, probably feed two people, two, three people. Five dollar dinner for two, three people? That ain't bad. That's what I'm talking about. Boy, I cleaned it. Ooh yeah, frostbite fingers. That's the way to go. <laughs> I'll get the majority of it off here. We'll be all right. Cool beans. I will say, this tent absolutely hates snow. Thing just sags and sags like crazy. That thing's tighter than heck. That thing ain't going anywhere. Maybe I can make it more, but it's got super tension on the seams. Oh, they're talking. Talking and squawking. Repeat. Uh, the winds are definitely starting to pick up. I did bring some uh, uh, snow pants just in case. Because tomorrow it's going to be cold. This thing's already starting to condensate like crazy. Hear that wind howling? Oh yeah. We're about to throw out the sleeping bag. Get that thing all fluffed up. About 9 o'clock. And yeah. About that time. I think we might try to lay down here shortly. See what we can make happen. It's gonna be a struggle keeping this thing going all night. We don't have any hardwoods, and I'm stocking it like every every 30 minutes. As cold as it is, just constantly stocking it. See what happens. Hopefully the bag does us justice. If not, you gotta know when to say bye bye. Get to safety. We're not, but you can't do that when you're out in the middle of freaking the Arctic or something crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we're not urban woods, you know. Domino's down the block, <laughs> Casey's Pizza, whatever. Anyway, yeah, do that. Hang out, wing ding, chicken wing. Try not to be popsicles. The uh, wind's starting to howl. It is just a windy flurry mess out there. I don't think any of the like a big flakes and stuff can come down because just so windy there's maybe I don't know what do I know? <laughs> just my guess. It is super freaking Yeah. It's, our our number one goal's gotta be to keep this fire going. Because I'm probably gonna hate life climbing out of this bag in the morning. If we do not have it going, Peachy, <laughs> the things we do. Yeah. Well, I think uh, we're gonna sit back, relax, start crawling in this bag for a bit. Um, saying hopefully within the uh, next hour or two like so-called radar says heavy snow but we'll see if it's that windy I, I just think everything's just I don't know getting blown off getting blown off 
<laughs> Never mind. Adult thoughts. <laughs> These are jokes. Stop it. Calm down. Whatever. Anyway. Yep. We're doing that. Kick the old shoes off. Climb in the bag for a little bit. About an hour. Dreaming about a hot shower. Eating something sour. Power hour. Alright. Listen to this howling breeze. Yeah, dogs. Well. I need to start bringing some house slippers. Or get a pair of Crocs. My first pair of Crocs. So you can walk around in here without having to take your freaking... Put your boots on and off when there's snow on the ground. Now I see why people do it. Anyway. Try to get some shut-off for a little bit. Yammer, yammer. Yammer, slammer. Counting Z's and punching trees. <laughs> Alright. Well. Enough yammering. Good night, Sir James. Bring you guys back here in a little bit. Probably try to wake up and catch the big snow. If it's still coming in. Let's see. I think we got about, what? Inch? Inch and a half, maybe. Boy, is she disappointed. <laughs> anyway, good night, dreams. Holy crap, this is getting wild. I'm just waiting for this tent to fly away. Look at all that frost. This thing is just whipping. You feel the, the trees. They're just blowing and shaking us left and right. Well, back and forth. Left and right, whatever. It's a doozy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know the tent's got frostbite. <laughs> Look at that dang thing. Holy moly. We might just leave this bad boy up in the morning. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh gosh. We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Uh-oh, I hear trees breaking. I think we should be alright. Well, we'll see. <laughs> well, there goes that for the snow. Pretty much. I guess the wind just kind of disintegrated the snow and turned it into a little snowy dust storm. Holy crap, that wind is insane. I really want to go out there and film it, but I don't. I don't want to come out of my bag, it's getting cold. It's cold in here. Ugh. We got this stove like low and slow, just so it gives us a little bit of heat through the night. But it's not roaring, pumping. If we had some hardwoods, we could probably crank it up a bit by leaving the flute open. Uh, a little more, or damper, whatever. Same thing, call it what you want. But, yeah. Okay. This tent is turning into a popsicle. It's gonna be completely frozen. We're in for a one heck of a goof. Not goofy. Frozen morning. Yeehaw. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to crash. Once again, this wind. See what happens. <laughs> Good night. Again. Well, snow pants engaged. We're sleeping with them on. My butt cheeks are just too cold. It's getting too cold. And I did bring an extra pair of socks. I forgot about that. Whoa. 
so we're gonna bundle back up and do it again. It is freaking cold. Yeah. Sometimes I question why I do these things. Oof. It's so much fun. <laughs> Ugh. Right. Oh gosh. Keep this fire going. Slowly but surely. Let's switch out the socks. Ugh. Stay focused. Warmth. Well. I think we're going to melt. <laughs> oh boy. What a doozy. Holy snikes. That frost. This thing does not like it. Hopefully we don't tear any of the tie, net, tie downs. A little popsicle. Well, it is 3.30 in the morning. We burned up our stockpile already. Most of the ones that were already cut up. So we need to get up and cut that crap. Because it is way too freaking cold. We can't let that fire go out. We're about down to the nitty gritty. That wind is just wild whipping. Oh, I don't really want to climb out of my bag, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Activity at three in the morning. Oh, oh man, we really did it this time. Oh, I can't get my boots off. I got double socks on. I'm about pulled out my socks with it. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Eat some of that in your life. We're doomed. Stay inside where it's warm. Whew. Back in the bag. A few more hours till we gotta get up. I haven't slept well. Been like every maybe 30 minute naps. Let's see what happens. Well, guys, good morning. It is 7 a.m. That wind is howling, and the tent is completely frosted. Holy crap! That thing. Oh man, it is howling in here. Why can I feel something? terrible breeze this stove does not keep up at all oh man holy crap that's our breath it does not feel good out at all I'm trying to stoke this fire one more time it's, it's the temperature is minus 10 but the fuel like is minus 31 so uh yeah, doesn't feel that great. But, um, I'm gonna try to get this freaking wood chopped up and stuck in here and uh, get everything packed up. I gotta get myself bundled back up. It's not pleasant right now. Ooh. I mean, yeah, we're in an urban location, but look, when that stuff happens, holy crap, you know? Fight or flight, man. Flight sounds great. <laughs> Woo!
Alright, let's do this. Come on. Oh. Holy moly. Oh. Sure is a stiff one this morning. Oh. Oh. Jeez, these boots start. Oh. Let me get a foot in it. Yeah. Come on, get my foot in there. Oh. Well, oh. we got this bad boy stock back up. I got it open and flowing, straight roaring. But if it can't generate enough heat to keep us warm out here, because uh, I'm just completely freaking shaking. It's it's cold. I mean, yeah, I got to get up and move around and stuff. But I don't know if it's worth suffering for. Trying to stay out here and make a breakfast in this. The winds, I could feel the breeze just coming in and out of here when it freaking, ah, when the wind blows. Because the winds are so heavy right now. That's just taking the heat right with it, I think is why it can't trap it. And it doesn't help our walls are frozen. It is just straight popsicle in here. Oh, man. Oh. Well, I don't know. I don't know if. Oh, man. Oh. I don't like it. <laughs> it is freaking bitter. Look how. Holy moly. That's not good. Like, my feet don't even feel warm anymore. Because you put them in the boots, but yeah. We gotta figure something out. Because this ain't working. My gosh. It's, it's okay next to the fire. That's about it. You step away from it, it gets... And that wind, man, you can just feel the breeze. Good idea. <laughs> I thought keeping my water in this thing would keep it freaking, uh, it from getting frozen. But, uh, frozen frozen stiff I can't even twist my lid off to show you it's stuck oh. yeah right. well there goes that kind of I can't I don't want to whisk up melt snow and whisk that up it's just this thing just ain't able to keep up pumping up freaking heat so I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pack up, and uh, so I can't whisk up and do what I want to do. I'll save it for something different. It was a goofy breakfast idea. Um, I'll just tell you guys, it was gonna be like corned beef and hash, uh, powdered eggs, and uh, uh, peppered gravy. I was gonna make some sort of concoction. I don't know. What we're gonna try. But with that being said, I don't know. I think it's odds is just aren't earning a favor this morning, I guess. And this thing is not pumping out enough heat. So, I mean, I got this thing fully stocked. And it, I can only feel it. I gotta be like right here, within, within a foot and a half of it. Otherwise, you can't even can't feel it. <laughs> it's just that freaking cold. Alright, enough complaining. Let's get it cleaned up and uh, is what it is. Ugh. Come on, let me out. Ugh. Holy smokes! Ugh. Well, 
didn't get to have the lavish, luxurious, luxurious breakfast, but that's all right. There's always next time. Sounds <laughs> wild now. Holy moly. Cool thing is, after we get all packed up, we get to see if the car starts where we parked it. <laughs> yeah, tent didn't even go down. It's frozen in place. <laughs> Doesn't even have a string to it. It's frozen in place. What a freaking mess we got going on there. Hit the road, shall we? Well, guys, thanks for coming along for my goofy shenanigans. This camera is going to die. Uh, make every day great explore on Earth. Catch you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you, guys. Come again.